In the Big Bend, food insecurity impacts one out of every seven people. For children, that's one out of every five. And now Second Harvest of the Big Bend, Leon County and the Leon County Children's Services Council are sharing a meal with the people most impacted by hunger to figure out what change needs to happen. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. ABC 27 State of Williams is in Frenchtown tonight, one of the seven communities identified as the most food insecure in the county. Jada, how can these community conversations bring change? The groups hosting the community conversation dinner say active listening is key. And the quickest path to seeing some change is by everyone getting together and talking out what could work. It's hard for it to get to the stores with low income or low, you know, not low, just with in, low income and then low funds. Or it's just hard for it, just something quick that you need. It's, it's there. The blue box on Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard is a staple for Tamara McCoy. Filled with shelf-stable groceries, she says she stops by frequently to see what it has to offer, and she wants others to do the same. Uh, it's very helpful to know that um, by having others to know that this shelf is here, it's actually a help the community itself, um, either with people that you know have to wait for certain days to get their income. Just over 50% of the people living in Frenchtown are food insecure. In Leon County, 68,000 people don't know where their next meal is coming from. That's what brought Second Harvest of the Big Ben, Leon County Children's Services Council, and Leon County together for the Breaking Bread Community Conversations. Shington Lammy is the county's Human Services Director. We've been in seven neighborhoods so far. Um, the neighborhoods we identified was because um, working with Second Harvest, we identified the neighborhoods in our community with the highest food insecurity rates. At the table, business owners, community leaders, and everyday people, all focused on what it'll take to get rid of food insecurity in their neighborhoods. We, we listen in the moment. In the moment, we talk through and say, okay, what are those things we know at the local level that we can do that's actionable? Ideas from the table include extended access to existing food pantries, more ways to get fresh and healthy foods, and where those foods can be found. The next question from many, when will they actually see the change? Our opportunity now is to figure out exactly what options, how we bring those options back before the county commission. Those changes will directly impact the more than 16,000 Leon County children struggling with food insecurity. It's why Children's Services Council of Leon County is a part of this conversation. Food instability is a, is a big piece of everything. It's a part of children being educated. It's a part of their mental and physical health. And it's a part of having stable and nurturing communities. Changes from these community conversations will happen at Leon County Commission meetings as well. Right now, the three groups that are involved in putting them together are workshopping what the local government can actually get done. In Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27.